In the next few videos, we're going to be looking at proof by induction examples where we're dealing with inequalities. And the first example I want to go through is this one, where we're going to prove that 2 to the n is greater than 5n plus 1 for all integers n greater than or equal to 5. Now, when we've been doing proof by induction previously, uh, the first step is to prove that it is true for n equals 1, we usually do, okay? But in this case, we need to start with n equals 5. We refer to it really as the base case, okay? So usually it, it is n equals 1, but it doesn't have to be. In this case, it is n equals 5. So we prove true for n equals 5. And in order to do that with an, with an inequality, we're going to look at the left-hand side and the right-hand side independently. So the left-hand side will be 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. And the right-hand side will be 5, lots of 5, plus 1, which is 26. So 32 is greater than 26. So it is true for n equals 5. Okay? Right, so, step 2. Assume true for n equals k. So we would have 2 to the k is greater than 5k plus 1. Right. Step three, prove it is true for n equals k plus 1. Okay, so what I really need to think about is a target. What is my target here? What do I need to show? So over to one side, I'm going to write down what I want to show. I want to show that 2 to the k plus 1, so when n is k plus 1, is greater than 5 lots of k plus 1 plus 1. That's what I want to show. That's my target. Okay? Right, so what I'm going to start off with is 2 to the k plus 1. Okay? So we'll start off with that. Now I know that 2 to the k plus 1, using my indices, is 2 to the k times 2 to the 1. Okay, and of course 2 to the 1 is just 2, so that's 2 lots of 2 to the k. Now, I know then that that has to be greater than 2 lots of, and the 2 to the k was greater than 5k plus 1. So 2 times 2 to the k has got to be greater than 2 times 5k plus 1. Okay? So 2 times 5 to the sorry, 2 times 5k plus 1 is equal to 10k plus 2. Okay? Right. So what do I want to do now? Well, at this stage, what I now need to think about is I need to think about what format I want to get it into, okay? Uh, because, remember, I've got 2 to the k plus 1, okay? So I don't need to do anything with this left-hand side. I already know that's what it is, 2 to the k plus 1. I know that that is going to be greater than this, okay? Assuming that's true, of course. So, now I want to try and write this in this kind of format. So, let's just write that straight down. Now that would be 5k plus 5 plus another one. Okay, so plus 6. So 5k plus 6. So what I would have left over is another 5k to make up to the 10k. And because I've got plus 6 here, I'm going to have to take away 4. Now, what I need to show is that this 
is greater than this. Now, can I do that? Because what I've got over on the left-hand side is the same thing, right? So really what I need to show is that this is positive. Because if that is positive, if that is greater than zero for all the k values that I'm considering, or all the n values, but in this case k, if that is positive, then the left-hand side will definitely be bigger than the right-hand side. And that means that 2 to the k plus 1 will be greater than that. Okay? So, what I need to consider is 5k minus 4. So, what I'm going to do is, because we're starting with n is 5, I'm going to plug in k is 5. So, 5 lots of 5 take away 4 is going to be 21 which is, of course, greater than zero. So 5k minus 4 will be greater than zero for all integers k greater than or equal to 5. Now, you might be going, right, is that right? Well, 5k minus 4 is a linear function. Uh, it's got a positive gradient 5, so it is always going to be increasing. So if that is where I'm starting at 21, then clearly it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's never going to go smaller. And so that will always be greater than zero. And so this process shows you that 2 to the k plus 1 has got to be greater than 5 lots of k plus 1 plus 1, which is what I wanted to show. OK, so of course, I need to write down my concluding statement. So I'll do it up here. So as it is true for n equals 5, because that is my base case. And if it is true, for n equals k, then it is true for n equals k plus 1, okay? So, it is true for all integers n greater than or equal to 5. And so that is how I set my proof out, okay? So this stage may seem a little bit odd uh, initially, but as you work through the examples, um, it's really, if you make sure you've written down your target, this part of the process won't be too bad, okay? Just have a look at the examples I worked through, and uh, if you've got any questions, of course, leave a comment.